Hey guys, Game Man Dan here, and it's time for a pick a video for June. So the month of June seemed pretty long for me. Um, it kind of feels like I missed the month, but I didn't, because uh, I just got out of school and it's been vacation and stuff like that. So I guess it uh, seems to drag on. But I got a lot of cool stuff. I was thinking, I'm like, man, I didn't get that much stuff. But when I look at it, I got a pretty good amount of stuff. So let's get into it. So I really didn't pick up that much Sega stuff because I've recently started Nintendo Junkie Saturdays. But um, I got one Genesis game I got, and it's in really great condition, and it was a pretty good price. I did not pay $7.99 for it, I got it for $5 at one of my favorite stores, uh, Toy and Game Land, and that is Rolling Thunder 2. Um, I have yet to play this game, um, I haven't had my Genesis hooked up, but um, it's supposed to be really good, I heard some good things about it, and uh, I picked it up because it's complete and really good shape, so uh, 5 bucks for a complete Genesis game is totally worth it to me. I didn't really pick up that much new gen stuff, but the one game I did pick up was Saints Row 1 and 2 double pack. It was only $20, and I said, what the hell, it's way worth it. And I was playing with my friend Jonathan in Saints Row 2, and I really liked it. So I I wanted to pick it up, and I probably played this game the most out of any game I picked up this month. It is really fun. Uh, it is crazy, and um, it kind of just like super violent and everything, but that's why I love it. It's really fun. Uh, pick this up. It's a great deal. Two great games. Here's a silly little pickup. I got this... Um, end connector piece for the Atari 2600 so now I can play it on my television um, it works great uh, I had no problems with it I only paid about three dollars for it on eBay so uh, NT11 recommended me using this instead of a little box that comes at the end so thanks I've been having some pretty good luck PlayStation 1 wise lately um, I picked up a long box game for five dollars it's called PO'd it's about a chef that goes around and shoots people because he's PO'd uh, the graphics remind me of Doom um, you actually probably saw this in the five games I recommend to you, uh, and I still recommend it. It's still a really good game, so check it out. The PlayStation 1 was the first system I really ever played. Uh, when I was like three years old, my brothers got one, and they loved it. Um, and they kept playing it, and I remember playing Crash Bandicoot and not being able to finish the first level, but I remember it's so nostalgic to me. It's like the most nostalgic game I, I have, um, and now I, I got it. I finally picked it up. It's the greatest hits version. Uh, this goes for a pretty decent amount of money on eBay, and I knew one day I'd find it in the wild, and I did. I only paid $1.61 for it. I also got this Crash Bandicoot Warped. I have yet to try it, but at first I thought it was a kart racing game, because they're all on, like, some kind of automobiles, but it's, um, it's an adventure game. Uh, I read the back and everything, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm super happy to get some Crash Bandicoot games. Um, I really love Crash Bandicoot. I look around in the CD department sometimes at my favorite thrift store, and um, I find some pretty good stuff sometimes, just like this game, Road Rash Jailbreak. It's a pretty fun game. I played it. Um, it has really good graphics for a Road Rash game. I'm kind of used to the 16-bit to the kind of thing, so it's kind of shitty looking. But this is a really good game, really fun. Uh, they stepped it up with the violence and everything, so it's awesome. So at Toy and Game Land, I also found some cool stuff. Um, I found... For $5, all these are $5 a piece, Spyro, Ripto's Rage, and the thing is kind of sideways, and it kind of reminds me of a PAL game, but it's not. Um, I like Spyro, I used to play this on a game, my uncle's GameCube, and I really liked it, so um, maybe this one will be good, this is, I believe the second one in the series, yeah, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, so awesome. Also got a game that I was blown away by, um, I heard some good things about it, but I didn't know it was that good, Medieval or medieval it's super freaking awesome uh, the graphics in this game are near PlayStation 2 quality I say like early PlayStation 2 quality they're superb um, it's really fun it has some cool music in it I mean everything about this game is really spot-on you can tell the developers put a lot of work into it um, I don't know who developed this it says Sony so I guess Sony put it out themselves and uh, you know you can't go wrong with this game definitely pick it up and I love the Medal of Honor series. Um, I played most of them on the PlayStation 2. I only own one of them. Planning on getting some more, but I have the very first one now. Um, I definitely wanted to pick this up. It reminds me of GoldenEye, but more like World War II era. 
Um, and it, it is a lot like the ones on the PlayStation 2. The graphics are pretty good for a PlayStation 1 game. I'm not... I don't really like the graphics on the PlayStation 2. Um, on the PlayStation 1, rather. Um, I don't really like them that much, but when they do it right, I, I really appreciate it. And they did it right with this game. And the last of the PlayStation 1 goodness was this Tomb Raider 3, and it's sealed. Um, I picked this up in the first store for like 90 cents, like 99 cents, and it's brand new sealed. Uh, it's not worth that much sealed, maybe 30 bucks, but it's still cool to have sealed Tomb Raider 3. Uh, but it's a great assist. I wish it was a black label, it would be worth more probably. So after PlayStation 1 comes PlayStation 2. Uh, I picked up a few games just because they were cheap at GameStop. Um, I've been trying to get grow my PlayStation 2 collection. Um, I really, that's one of my favorite systems other than maybe Nintendo and Super Nintendo. So I got ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Uh, I played this game back in the day and I remember if you went off the map they'd like kill you or something and you had to go back. So it's really fun. Um, yeah, just some nostalgia with this. Um, I just had to pick it up for a buck. I saw this game and it kind of called my name. And uh, what called my name even more was the price tag. It was only $2 for Activision Anthology, which has all the old classic Atari games and stuff like that uh, on it. It's really fun and um, it's a good way to try Atari games before I actually pick them up on my real console. So I saw this game and I was like, damn, it's a red label or it's a greatest hits version because I loved it so much when I had it. And uh, I was like, you know what? It's so good, screw it, I'll get it, I don't care. And it is Star Wars Episode Three. Um, this game probably doesn't sound too epic, but I swear, it is one of the best Star Wars games I've ever played. Um, I actually, this is a, like the only one I really got far in. I think I beat more than half of this. Um, they actually have real cutscenes from the movie in this. Uh, the gameplay is outstanding. Uh, it's not too hard, but it, it, it definitely has a good challenge to it. Um, the graphics are incredible. Um, everything about this game is really great. So if you ever see this for two or three dollars, just grab it, no doubt. So staying in the same time frame, I picked up two GameCube games that I'm pretty happy with. Uh, this first one is called Freedom Fighters. Um, some of you might have heard of this game. It is a really fun game. Um, I remember my friend Fernando let me borrow a GameCube in this one day, and uh, I fell in love with the game. It reminded me of kind of like Medal of Honor in third person, but uh, in modern times. So it is really fun. Uh, it's from the makers of Hitman 2, it says on the case, and it is Freedom Fighters, obviously. You pay $5 for it. Um, that's really great for a GameCube game. They're kind of getting hard to find, and I was super happy to find this complete, and I really like it. This other game was only $2, and I was like, you know what, I played it before, it was pretty good, and why not? So, it's tackling the power of Juju. Um, it, it's pretty good, um, I played it again, I mean, it, it's just a regular kitty cartoon game, really easy and stuff like that, but if you're looking for a $2 game, this is the one to get. So, I haven't really picked up much for Sega, as I said, but this is the only other thing. Making X, this game is a first person sword game, where you run around and chop people up with your sword. It is really fun, rated M for Mature, um, it is just really cool game, uh, a lot of cool enemies in it and stuff like that, so I only paid about $7 for this on eBay. If you can find it for that price, definitely pick it up. So I did a trade with one of my friends, Classic Metal Fan 22 and he is a great guy, he sent me a lot of extras, but the one thing that we agreed upon was this Game Boy Pocket. Um, I love Game Boy Pockets, they are my favorite kind of Game Boys. <coughs> They are my favorite kind of Game Boys. Um, I don't know why, I just really love them. They really feel good in the hands. And uh, they're really just fun, and I want to get another color of them. I'm planning on getting all of them eventually. I'm not going out searching for them, but really cool, and uh, it works great. So we traded for a game, and that game was Pokemon Blue. Um, Pokemon Blue is super fun. It's one of the first ones. It's a great entry-level Pokemon. Um, I, just, I just kept playing uh, Red. I'm still playing it right now, I, I haven't been playing it that much recently, but it's good to get blue, and I have pretty much all of them for the original Game Boy. Classic Metal Fan also threw in a few extras, bases loaded for the Game Boy, Frogger, and Super Mario Land. And notice all these things have the case on it, because he knows me all but too well, and he knows that I, I really have to have these cases on there, or I kind of throw them aside and don't consider them in my collection. So I got a pretty good amount of NES games here. We got about six of them, not that great. Um, I usually pick up more than that, but it, I just couldn't find any that great deals on eBay. 
and I'm working on a trade right now to get some from uh, my friend Liberated Animal. So um, this first game is Super Pitfall. Um, I saw this on eBay for about six dollars, and I was like, you know, that game just looks so cool. I have to pick it up. The game kind of sucks. Uh, it's really not that fun. The controls are awkward, and it's just really frustrating. So uh, it was worth it just to have the game, but it's not worth it to play the game. So I got two Tengen games this week, or Tengen, however you like to say it. I always say it both ways. Uh, and one of them was Alien Syndrome. I was going to get this for the Sega Master System, but um, I couldn't find it for a price that really met what I was looking for. Uh, and this was cheaper than a complete copy of it for the Sega Master System. So I was like, hell, hell with it, I'll just get it for the NES. Add to my growing NES collection, I really want to just get it to at least 300 before I start collecting for everything else. Uh, as much as I do for the NES. Another Tengen game I picked up was Super Sprint. Uh, it's pretty fun. Um, the graphics are alright. It kind of tries to be 3D, but it sucks at it. Uh, and it's a little rattly. Yeah, I hope that's just a piece of plastic and not something off the board. Also, I picked up Skater Die 2. Uh, this game is a lot better than the first one. Um, it, it's basically the same premise and everything, but uh, it's, it's, um, it's not as awkward to control everything. And... Um, they kind of just refined the things that were wrong with the first one. And a game that everyone was picking up, and everyone said that everyone else should pick it up, so I was like, hmm, I'm everybody else, so I think I'm going to pick it up. I uh, hope you understood that, and that is Wizards and Warriors. Um, pretty cool. Um, I haven't really played it that much yet. Heard some good things about it, and I look forward to playing it. So I got two great things this month, and I'm not sure which one is better than the other one, so... I'm going to go and keep it on the trend of NES games with one of the best NES games I've ever picked up. And that is Mega Man 1. Um, I splurged, I went for it, and I got it. Um, it is awesome. Uh, it is worth the $40 price tag. Uh, I can't say that about a lot of NES games. Uh, I think the only one I had other, other game that I paid $40 for, that I would pay $20, $40 for, is Contra. But uh, it's not worth that much. Um, this game is crazy good. Um, I kind of just splurged. I was like, oh, you know what? Everyone's saying you have to get it, so I just got it. And uh, now I plan on getting two, three, four, five, six, um, <coughs> and eventually the other ones. So pretty cool to have Mega Man one. So this last thing, I practically paid nothing for, and uh, I say it is awesome. And uh, it is a 3DS. You saw this in my NGS. Um, I'm not sure which is better, Mega Man. One or a 3DS. I'm going to say 3DS is a little bit better being like it's a console. Um, it's awesome. It, the, gra the 3D graphics are pretty good. Um, I, a lot of times I just turn the 3D off because it bothers me a little bit. But on first playing it, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And then it starts to give me a headache and I have to stop. But um, I got a game with it complete. It's Asphalt 3D. I uh, got everything in there. Um, everything that's needed. Manual and... Uh, and a game. Uh, manuals in new games are terrible. I got uh, Satan's Row double pack. There was no manual. It was a piece of paper. It was crazy. So, uh, yeah, 3DS. I think I say this is the pickup of the month. Ding. And the last thing I got was a power glove. Um, I wore this the whole video. Hope you noticed. Um, it is pretty cool. It's in really great condition. Um, and it worked pretty good. Um, it work doesn't work that great on my television, but you can tell it's kind of working, even though it never worked. Uh, so guys, thanks for watching. Um, you got a lot of cool stuff. Tell me what to play if I haven't played it. Uh, give me some recommendations of what to get next month, and I'll see you next time, guys.